I am Nick Germanio, the owner of Bell Plain Supply Gun Center in Bell Plain, New Jersey. I'm Brian Camp, uh, sales here, sell the guns here at Bell Plain Supply Gun Center, and I'm from Millville, New Jersey. How's business in New Jersey? Been pretty brisk. The last four to five years have been very, very busy. What, uh, what's your main, uh, main guns going out the door? Uh, it's kind of a mix of all, handguns, long guns. We have a very big hunting shop. We supply hunters that travel all over the world. So, I mean, so we do a lot of sporting arms. Handguns have been very brisk in the past 14, 15 months. Do you see a lot of new shooters, new shooters in the market? Yeah, I would say we yeah, do, right? there's a lot, lot of new shooters, uh, a lot of women. <clears throat> a lot of women now buying guns, uh, particularly from what I see, uh, a lot of young women are, are purchasing handguns now. Yeah, and especially the ones that are still living at home or going to college, they're you know just getting out in the workforce. You know they want to learn how to handle it. The parents are trying to, you know, especially the fathers trying to teach them how to use them, you know, protect themselves. Okay. So yeah, so we saw a lot of that. And I would say if we had, you know, 100 new customers come in the door, 75 never owned a firearm in their life in the past year. You were saying something about uh, Governor Christie. Are you supporting you guys or? Yeah, I think Governor Christie's mm -hmm. a good governor. I think he's done a. A pretty good job of supporting us. I mean, he had some laws come down the road here a year ago, and he vetoed most of them and said they didn't—they weren't common sense laws. You know, some of them they did initiate, which didn't make a whole lot of difference because they were already on the books anyhow. Most of the lawmakers really don't know the difference between what's on the books and what's not on the books, and they keep making a law for another law for another law, and it's—it's it's actually the same rule. So it really didn't affect us a whole lot. And every day there's new new legislation coming down the road that needs to be looked at and needs to be fought. It's a shame that, you know, between the citizens of New Jersey, the NRA, and anybody that likes weapons have to spend a lot of money to keep defending their rights. But I think Christie's been a real good governor in that respect. Uh, and I don't really think he's pro-gun or against gun. I think he's middle of the road. So I think he uses a little bit of common sense, and he works with the legislature. Uh, last question. You're saying future of uh, guns, gun sales being uh, in the gun business. You think it, it's looking pretty good? Yeah, I think we still going to have three, you know, at least three more good years of gun business because the politics in Washington, Washington isn't going to change for the next three years. So once that changes, then it could be, you know, then it could slow down because things might, you know, change the demographics up there, you know, or down there in Washington. So I, I mean, right now, as I, as I say it, I don't think the thing will slow down a whole lot for the next three years. And you know, well, gun business. I mean, the Obama administration probably didn't do a lot for the economy in a lot of places, but it certainly energized the gun business. It turned a lot of new people onto guns, is what happened. First time shooters, they was getting them for various reasons, and it turned a lot of people onto the shooting. Now we got families coming in here. They're buying for their, you know, getting their daughter, their son. Everybody's shooting now, and they're having a good time at it, going out target range, and it's a family affair, and that's been happening a lot, and that's always a good thing. So if people come down to visit New Jersey, should they come by your shop and say hi? And oh, yeah, we do. We have a lot of people come by. Our shop's on a main artery going into the seashore. There's only two ways to get in the seashore in Cape May County. One's through our, our property. We have a big farm. And the other is down the Garden State Parkway. So and a lot of guys come in. We have a lot of people from out of state come in. And do we sell a lot of stuff from out of state? Not really. But, I mean, the guys that do want to buy something or see something, they can buy it. They can't take it with them. We have to ship it to their home state. But, you know, we ship it to our local dealer and they go pick it up there. But we do sell a lot of accessories and a lot of supplies just because of the foot traffic coming through. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for talking with us today. No okay. Thank you.